Hey everyone, welcome back to InfoGamer. Let's get started by getting back into our Flappy Bird game. In the last video, we showed you how to add rotation to your bird as he falls and as you click, it resets his rotation. In this video, what we want to do is make it a little more user friendly and make it so that players playing your game can see their current score. So we're going to create a UI system to display their score. Let's get started. Here we are in Unity and we're going to create a new UI text. Once you've done that, we can view it in the game scene right here. So it's kind of small and it's down at the bottom. I would advise that we put it up at the top and so let's go and focus in on it in our scene view and then I'm going to anchor it to all corners and then I'm going to drag the bottom anchors up towards the top of the screen probably give it 10 percent of the top of the screen once you've done that we can center or zero out all the edges of the image and then we want to change the text to say score and then a colon. Now what we want to do is size it up and the best way to do that is by checking this box which says best fit. Then we want to change the max size to like 200. So that's pretty good and maybe it's a little too big so I'm going to drag the anchors down to 5% Maybe 5% is too small. Let's go with 7%. And I'm actually going to want to drag in the right side of the anchors, probably to 35%. Now let's zero out the edges. That looks a little bit better. If you want it to be a little bit off the left side of the screen, so it's not right up against the edge of your camera, you can add a couple pixels on the left. So I'm going to type in a five. Looks good. Now what we need to do is add a second text, which is going to hold the current score. So I'm actually going to change the text name of this to be score text and then let's go ahead and I'm actually going to duplicate this score text and we can change its name to just score and then I want to change the anchors so that it reaches the end of the screen in the X direction on the right side and then I'm going to drag out the left anchors so that they match the same position as the right anchors of our previous score text object. Now we can center or zero out the sides and let's change the text to just be zero. That looks pretty good right there. Now what we need to do is create a script in our game controller script that's going to change this value of the text for our score object. So I'm going to go ahead and open our game controller script. Once you have it open in Visual Studio, so we're going to need to add a new namespace at the top of our script. So I'm going to type using Unity Engine.ui. This makes it so that we can access UI data types. So now we need to create a new variable to hold the text of our score object. So it's going to be a public text, whoops, text with a capital T, and I'm going to call this score, yes, score. I was thinking maybe score text, but I don't want it to get confusing or confused with our static score text. So now that we have this variable, let's create a new function. So I'm going to type void and let's call this our score 
function parentheses semi uh, not semicolon curly braces inside this function what we want to do is we want to access the text component of our score variable so I'm going to type score dot text and let's set it equal to and we need to access the int value of our score variable in our player controller script. So I'm going to type PC to get the player controller instance in our game controller script and then dot score player score is what we called it. Now all we need to do is say dot to string and parentheses semicolon. So whenever you're using a data type that's not a string, but you want to convert it into a string, most of the time it should have a function called toString. So this will work for ints, floats, doubles. Now that we have this, all we need to do is call this function in our update. So right here, I'm going to call score function parentheses semicolon. Let's go ahead and save it. Go back to Unity and we need to apply the score into the variable in our game control script. So with our game control script selected, I'm going to click on our score and make sure it's the one with the value as zero, not our score text, but just our score, drag it into the score field and that'll automatically select the text component of this object. Now we can hit play and see if it auto increments it. So when we hit play, as we pass through the different pipes, you can see our score is incrementing. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do it one more time. One, see how high of a score I can get. Oh, one more time. Flappy Bird, you're so frustrating. One, and two, and three. Whoa, that was close. Four, and five. Okay, I won't keep you waiting. I'll end it right, right, right here. Six, seven, we got seven. <laughs> the reason why I got seven is because there's no condition to check to see if it's still live when we increment the score. But if you know how to do that, you're welcome to add that to your score. In Abyss Fish, I actually made it so that if you, you died, but then the fish went through the pillars, it still incremented the score because I thought it was hilarious. So that's everything that we're going to cover in this video. Hopefully it was straightforward. I know it was a shorter video than our previous ones in this playlist. That's because we're pretty much done with our Flappy Bird game. We just need to add a few more things, maybe a main menu and a game over screen. But thank you so much for sticking to the end and watching this whole video. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you leave them in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.